Berries! All right, and berries. And berries. I put berries in there because I'll tell you, the amazing thing about berries, they are kind of the candy of nature, mm. right? They're small, they're beautiful, mm. they're sweet. Mm. Um, you can eat a bunch of them. Uh, I, and that's why candies, I just, there are they're candies that are shaped like berries, right? Berries. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this session, we will learn from Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and researcher known for his work on angiogenesis and its role in health and disease. He will discuss the benefits of berries, particularly their potential effects on stem cells. Dr. Lee emphasizes that berries, especially strawberries, blueberries, goji berries, and blackberries contain compounds that help regulate angiogenesis, which is essential for stem cell function and tissue regeneration. Berries are also rich in antioxidants, which protect stem cells from oxidative stress and damage, helping to maintain their populations and ability to regenerate tissues. Additionally, some research suggests that compounds in berries may aid in mobilizing stem cells from the bone marrow into the bloodstream, potentially supporting tissue repair throughout the body. Dr. Lee has also mentioned goji berries, which contain compounds that may support stem cell function, although more research is needed to understand their effects fully. The polyphenols found in berries contribute to overall cellular health, indirectly benefiting stem cell function and tissue regeneration. Moreover, berries' anti-inflammatory properties may create a more favorable environment for stem cell function and tissue repair. Dr. Lee highlights the importance of a varied diet, suggesting that consuming a range of berries could have synergistic effects on health, including potential benefits for stem cell function. Now, let's listen as Dr. Lee shares more insights on the remarkable benefits of berries. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Huh? Huh? Blueberry. Strawberries? The organic blackberries. It goes great with a homemade goji berry mojito. So the, the, the thing about berries, though, is that they are a great source of vitamin C. They've got great antioxidants. They also have these polyphenols that are kick-ass. So like, and fiber. And, and dietary fiber as well, of course. Uh, the, the key thing is, you know, people always say, well, is a sugar in, in berries going to be harmful or in fruit going to be harmful? You know, this is where all, not all calories are the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, fruit contains so many other good things that along with the natural sugars, which are most for most people, your body can actually tackle. You're getting all this other benefits uh, that, that you wouldn't be getting if you had a can of soda with just added sugar to it. Right. So that's the key thing. Sugar isn't all sugar because the, the thing that is contained in is going to be different. Blackberries, one of my favorites. They are a great source of vitamin C and dietary fiber, which is good for your gut bacteria, which means it's good for your immunity and they taste great any time of the day. Fourth, blueberries. I love blueberries. Uh, blueberries do a lot of things. The dark blue of blueberries actually is a natural dye called anthocyanin. Anthocyanins lower inflammation, good for psoriasis, and raise your immunity, which is good to protect you against all kinds of infections um, and cancer as well. And so I, I, I love blueberries. And by the way, the frozen blueberries have the same amount of the good stuff, those polyphenols, as fresh blueberries. So, you know, if you want to make a get, get frozen blueberries and put them into your smoothie, that's just as good as picking them off the bush um, uh, fresh. So, you know, like, don't worry about like what the source of you know, those are the weeds if you want to get into that. Just by eating like a cup and a half of blueberries um, uh, a day, you can uh, elevate your uh, T cells by like 88%. Okay. Um, and athletes that actually eat uh, blueberries regularly, they just walk around with a higher level of immunity to begin with. Uh, blueberries are a food that definitely boosts the immune system. It's uh, in young people as well as older people. Uh, uh, that they, they boost the natural killer cells, which is really cool. Blueberries, great for breakfast, a smoothie or for baking. They can help your immune system ramp up and get rid of cells that have been already infected by a virus. Goji berries also can actually reprogram stem cells. And goji berries, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's one of the, it's one of those continuum. Like you know, you hear these days, you hear a lot about these medicinal um, 
foods that have been used in Asia for years, like cordyceps mushrooms, which I saw in the marketplace the other day. It's really cool. Um, but goji berries are something uh, very common as an herbal medicine. And I think that one of the things that we need to remember is that when we're borrowing and exploring uh, fascinating food substances that have been used traditionally for thousands of years as medicine in other cultures we should be just a little cautious that this doesn't mean that we can just be playing around with the substance but goji berries you know which i you know i love to put goji berries in tea um if you if you mix it with goji berries with tea put a date you know a dried date in there uh put some uh chrysanthemum flower in there you kind of create this really nice herbal tea tea you can put um, oolong tea or black tea you know so you can you can you can actually find ways to um, extract some of these natural substances goji berries have um, bioactives like uh, lutein and zeaxanthin which is good for your vision um, but some of these substances also reprogram your fat stem cells as well another one by the way is um, well well, I'm, I'm going to talk about multiple foods, but zeaxanthin and lutein are two compounds, two natural chemicals that are found in goji berries. Goji berries are sort of this um, Chinese medicine, herbal medicine type of thing. They're little tiny dried um, uh, ovoid looking things. They're sometimes found in Chinese teas, for example, um, but they're actually quite popular um, now as sort of a health um, uh, supplement or a health food to eat. You can find goji berries snacking on them in uh, different types of supermarkets that are, have a health oriented section. Lutein and zeaxanthin actually are um, present in goji berries and they mobilize your stem cells. They protect your stem cells and they mobilize them as well. So this is an example of two substances that go hand in hand in both. Now, why is that really remarkable? Because they've been shown to help protect vision as we age. So think about it. You want to do healthy aging, right? Among, in addition to the quantity of life you have, you want to have quality of life. And I would dare say that everyone would agree with me that if you want to have quality of life, you must have good vision. You can't be blind. You know, if you're blind and you live to 180, you know, uh, that's not very fun. You're not going to, you know, you're going to be trying to figure out how to read braille with ancient hands that's not going to be a good time and so what's interesting is zeaxanthin and lutein which is found in goji berries also found in red uh, red bell peppers um, uh, for example um, uh, actually uh, protect your stem cells and interestingly they've been shown to preserve vision in elderly people they're good for protecting you against the condition called age-related macular degeneration or amd which is the most common cause of blindness in developed countries so here's another example of stem cells i think doing their job in the retina in the back of your eye helping to preserve your vision well strawberries has something called elagic acid mm -hmm. in fact elagic acid wants to make a nice strawberry tart so strawberries are sweet they're a little tart um uh, and the tartness comes from elagic acid well elagic acid is made by strawberries. It cuts off the blood supply to tumors. It's actually good for your metabolism, burns down harmful body fat, um, is antioxidant, protects your DNA, lowers inflammation, as well as vitamin C in the same strawberry, um, and activates your stem cells. So what's not like what's not to like about strawberries? You'd want as much elagic acid as possible. How important is organic? First of all, let me just be really clear. I had had for years been a skeptic of organic foods. Okay, I'm not anymore. But the reason I was a skeptic is because I, I kind of felt like it rubbed me the wrong way. Why should I pay more money to buy a food that's grown without chemicals uh, in a more natural form uh, so that I could actually have the privilege of avoiding pesticides? Like it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way that, that it would be marketed something that was more natural and had less chemicals. I had to pay more money to actually get the more natural stuff. Right? Well, there's another reason that research now has shown very definitively the advantage of organic foods. And I want everyone to really hear this because it's important. This is, this is science, not marketing. All right. Turns out that uh, a study was done and published in the journal Nature by a group, an agricultural group, horticultural group in England. And they were looking at strawberries. 
Now, strawberries, as we all know, have a very thin skin. You can't skin, you can't peel a strawberry very easily. And so a strawberry that's grown conventionally with pesticides, those pesticides are going to be stuck on that skin. And because the thin is skin, it, it, the thin, the skin is very thin, the pesticides will tend to penetrate inside that flesh, right? Nobody wants to eat a pesticide, a chemical laden strawberry, right? Okay. What the, what the researchers did is they wanted to compare not the level of pesticides between conventional versus organic strawberry. Now, I love strawberries, especially during the summer when they are in season. And if you want to get the best strawberries, go for uh, go to a farmer's market and uh, find out which ones are grown locally. Uh, and they're the ones that are actually going to taste the sweetest and be the freshest. By the way, for berries, here's something practical. Look, I'm a big believer in going to the farmer's market and buying the seasonal fresh berries. But here's the thing. You can actually get frozen berries, which are less expensive, and you can buy them in bulk and store them in your freezer, uh, easier to deal with, okay? And they have the same bioactive value. They're picked from the field, flash frozen, and you're good. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the stem cell foods. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep to processing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.